Okay, whatever. Okay, welcome back. So we have a problem from the wonderful AMCA for middle schoolers where uh, someone made an octahedron and I need to figure out what number the question mark is. So, um, wh why did people vote for this? Uh, all right, we're, we're going to do the really intelligent thing of zooming in. Okay, so this is Q. So what we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to try to like walk along the thing. So if this is Q, then this far face over here is six, which means the this dot this dashed edge here should be like this edge here for five. So that's five. And then that means like this dashed edge is the one from five to four. So that's this edge. So Q, six, shit, already lost track. If I'm going along the back, uh, oh, freaking. So there's like a square here, right? Like I, it means that I should be able to starting from here, take four steps and end up back where I started. So the square should be like this edge, this edge. No, 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 no. That's that's not the right edge. Um, <laughs> mother. Uh. Okay, I feel like the correct thing to do is uh, I'm going to hijack the picture and draw colors on it. So, holy crap. Unfortunately, that means I have to read this code. Um, what the frick is this? Uh, five, four. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to do my best to edit this code with, um, TF, what the frick is TRF? Transform. Okay, sorry. We're gonna we're gonna use yeah. We're, we're just gonna use a screenshot tool. Uh, all right. So um, copy, and then. Uh, switch to the screen. Cool. This is so. This is called Kim. For those of you that don't know. Okay. Cool. And zoom out. Paintbrush. Let, let's make some red color. Wait. No. 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 That's black. Give me red. I want red. Fucking. What did I do? Um. How? Can Can I just do that? Okay. Good enough. So this one here is like this one here, and that means, um, oh, that's much better. There's a color wheel. So this one is this one, and <laughs> okay, so if you ever have heard of this thing called Anfantasia. Um, it's a condition where you're like not able to visualize things in your head. It's, it's just not possible. Um, and unfortunately, I have this. So I don't think I can do this in my head. It's very sad. Uh, okay, where do I want to go? I want to stay along the net because otherwise it's going to be annoying. Um, so we're going to use this walk here next. So four is here now, and then I want to keep walking. So this is orange. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, so okay. So I guess the point is you're supposed to draw a path, right? Because if you draw a path, then you can't screw up. Like at every point, there's only... If you know which face you are using, then there's only one place you can go. So if I do this, it should be okay. Um, and then three is here. 
So that means the answer should be one, right? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> very cool. Um, <laughs> If you have that, how do you do Geo? Well, okay, there's a couple things. One is the, um, I actually draw the picture, you know, I, I draw the diagram. But the second is like, if I don't have paper, I don't see a picture. What I do is I imagine there's a plane in front of me and there's like pressure at certain points in the plane. So there's part, certain points where like when I, I don't know, there, I imagine there's like some tension or some weight at a location. And that's how I, um, put things on a plane. I can't actually see anything in the plane. I just feel that there's something there. Um, yeah. Uh, why don't you focus on the corner connecting four, five, six, seven? Um, that's probably a good idea. I don't know. I'm trying to do it in a way such that it's impossible to screw up. And if you do it this way, you can't screw it up because as long as you remember which face you're on, like there's only one way to go. Uh, whereas, I don't know, four, five, six, seven would probably... Uh, hang on. It's Q, six, five, four. That requires you to, like, jump, right? I think. Q there is a two, five, four, two, three, four, five corner is completely disjoint. Oh, I guess that's true. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel, I don't know. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to mess up. Because, uh. Just, just don't screw up. <laughs> if you're actually taking an AMCA, I feel like the difference between like one minute and three minutes, uh, like as long as not every problem is like this, like the difference between one and three minutes isn't that important. I think it's more important to not get the answer wrong. So, shrug. Uh, why do we vote for this again? I think because people thought it would be funny to watch me try to do this uh, on a computer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, GIMP was the right answer. I was about to try to edit the asymptote code, and then I was just like, no, this code is garbage. I can't read it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, we did it. Very, very cool. Uh, moving on. 